Makes everybody sound good. I don't want to leave this tub. <laughs> As long as people listen to it and enjoy it, and I can still have a happy, uh, happy life and a good life, um, or whatever type of life that allows me to live off of twenty or thirty dollars a day, which I can do right now very easily, um, I'm happy with that. I'm sure it'll get older eventually, and I'll find a, a new dream and a new set of goals. But for now, uh, I'll continue to write songs and figure out what what makes a great song. And, Packing away. One whiskey, please. So being like originally from here and then moving all around and being in Israel, like where, like where does Nashville? How has it changed in your mind? Like with stereotypes, like when it comes to music and all the talent and, and stuff like that. Like, what do you think of Nashville when you come back to it? And like, well, it's uh, it's a completely. Di I, I see Nashville as a completely different. You know, I was a little kid when I lived here, and I was playing with bugs and fields, <laughs> and smoked my first cigarette when I was here. Um, you know, played sports, and I was just, just a clueless child, pretty much. And now that I'm back, I'm living downtown. When I was a kid, I was living far away. You know, 20 minutes outside of downtown, um, and it's a completely different town. I mean. Even though I did live here when I was a kid, it's still, it's, I had no idea this existed when I was a kid. I knew the music scene existed, but, you know, Grimey's is in my backyard now, if that gives you the picture. Every day I walk along the riverside thinking to myself How the dream of storm has come and gone but now I'm all alone again and Do you ever wonder why there's a teardrop in your eye when the morning comes? Have you ever tried waking up in heaven, talking to the wind? Yeah, here I go again. Just a dream. Yeah, here I go again. I walk along the river road thinking about the way it ought to be How the blowing of the wind and a whistle from a friend make their way to me And while the time is passing by go and open up your eyes and tell me what you at the moon, cause I'll be waiting there for you, where the night time waits for me. So here I go again, just a dream, yeah here I go again, oh I'm a dream. I fly away to find another place to call my home And once again I ride the wind She takes me anywhere I want to go Yeah, I know they're never real But they sure make me feel again They're my dreams Yeah, they're my
once again the dreaming in everyone come knocking down your door you know I've tried a million times but I still cannot remember what I came here for oh I know they're never real but they sure make me feel like a man again I think I'm gonna pack a bag and head out west. I heard out there the dream and never ends. So here I go again. Just a dream. Yeah, here I go again. Don't you know I'm a dream? That is a song, you know, I pretty much can drive 20 miles, 100 miles, and zone out and just start dreaming. Anybody can, you know, daydreaming, night dreaming. And that song's kind of about, well, it's about whatever you want it to be. It's kind of a broad description of the, the process of dreams and where they can end up. And what happens in the feeling, you know, when you have a really good dream and you wake up and you're like, man, I really wish I could go back to bed. Or you have a bad dream and when you wake up, it's like, thank God that was a bad dream, not my real life. This song is called Really Song. Well, he was from Birmingham, had the world in his hand. An office job, a bank account, and a pretty wife. A Friday would come too soon, he would fly you to the moon. His old lady, you never knew what he was talking about. Oh, but don't you fly away, boy. No, don't you fly away. No, don't you fly away, boy. You know everything will be okay. Yeah, you know everything will be okay. Monday and he's back to work. Shiny shoes, a tie, and a shirt. Everybody loved him so he had a beautiful smile A good report, a pat on the back Got his name on the company plaque But nobody seemed to know that Willie could fly Oh, but don't you fly away, boy No, don't you fly away don't you fly away, boy. You know everything will be okay. Yeah, you know everything will be okay. Willie well, was a noble man when he lived in Birmingham, but he was losing his mind in a world of his own. Willie well, left on a rainy day, wings spread and wind in his face, but nobody knew 
that Willie could fly. Oh, but don't you fly away, boy. No, don't you fly away. No, don't you fly away, boy. You know everything will be okay. Yeah, you know everything will be okay. Oh, won't you stay, will you stay? Yeah, you know everything will be okay. I was a writer in college. I was like short stories. I liked writing short stories. I could whip them out, you know. The night before they were, the paper was due, I'd write the story. Um, that came pretty easy, easy, easily. And then I got a guitar halfway through college, and from then on, slowly, day by day, picking apart the guitar. And then at the last month of college, I wrote a song really? that was like, it was a joke about my buddy who drank too much and he carried around his red plastic cup everywhere. So that's what the song was about. And then two more years went by and um, I think what, it, what did it for me is when I moved, to, I lived in Israel for three months with a family friend and when I was living there I kind of, I had nothing to do. I, I wasn't, I didn't want to come back to Nashville because I didn't really know anybody here and I wasn't I just was on that side of the world anyways, so I lived in Israel for three months and started studying and watching documentaries and reading books of songwriters, and, um, and then, it, then it kind of took off from there. And, uh, and then my approach, they just started, I just started writing and writing and writing, and then I, you know, that's, I haven't written a song in a, in a few months, but I'm waiting for the next wave to come. It, you know, comes in waves, like, uh, I haven't been able to spend too much time on a song or I'll lose interest in it over a, a period of three or four days. If it's not there, it's like, it's in the ghost yard. 